day 102. Obviously, it's raining out there. I don't feel like getting out of my tent yet. I'm going to wait for it to stop. I hate breaking down in the, in the rain. I still got a good 23, 24 miles to go to Harper's Ferry over some decently rough terrain. Well, that I'm guessing anyway. The map shows the first few miles suck, but after that it gets pretty chill. But my blisters are killing me. I do not have new shoes waiting for me in Harper's Ferry like I thought I would. I gave her two weeks notice, but evidently that wasn't enough. But, you know, what you get for relying on other people? So I'm just going to keep wearing these same old stupid boots and hoping I toughen up to them. I will eventually toughen up to them. But yeah, I just need to get Harper's Ferry. I'm, I don't even know if that's a town to take a zero in. I somehow doubt it is, but, well, I might just take a zero there anyway. <clears throat> so for now, drinking my coffee. I'm waiting for the rain to stop. Oh, found my first tick on me today. Not a good thing. Latched on behind my knee. I don't know how long it's been there, but you know, it's a tiny little tick, so I don't think it's been there that long. So hopefully I don't have Lyme disease or anything. Yeah. Awesome way to start my day. Houston, we have a problem. These blazes tell me to go that way. Got a small river I have to ford. It's gone pretty fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fucked. If you look at it right there, oh, it's all scary. But, you know, what choice do I have? I'm not gonna stand here in the rain all day. And it's supposed to rain all day today and for a chunk of tomorrow, so this bitch is only gonna get higher. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Great, now I gotta cross this. Do they look like they're going a little fast to you? Yeah. Run the game Frogger. I never was very good at Frogger. I'm lying, I'm awesome at everything. <laughs> As I get hit by a car. Oh, today's gonna be a rough day. I'm already so pruny that my hands hurt, my feet hurt. I can only imagine what they look like. I'm not taking off my shoes until I get further down the road. But I thought I've done like, I don't know, six miles so far today. Looked in the book, I've done four. Which means I still have three miles of this stupid roller coaster left to do. These rocks are slick as snot. There's rivers to cross. All in all, it's really good times, actually. Oh, but it's going to be hard to make it to Harper's Ferry tonight. I got such a late start. Being afraid of the rain, not wanting to break down in the rain. But you know what I did? I broke down in the rain. Lots of rain, heavy rain. I even took my tent and just dunked it in the river because the rivers were all full. Way fuller than when we went to sleep. Figured I'd wash a little bit of that dirt off. And they did come out a little cleaner and they didn't get any wetter. You can't very well get any wetter. But man, this is, this is rough. This is rough. It's part of the experience though, right? Yeah, loads of fun. So, yeah, see how far I can make it. I might not make it to Harper's Ferry tonight. Just might not. Or if I do, I'll be strolling in late. And there is nothing there. It is not really a town. I hear they give a bus ride to the nearest town, but it's not going to be going on when I get there. So, I'll find myself a nice bridge to get under or something. I don't know. It's a really exciting day, actually. <laughs> Having a good time. I like the, I like the challenge of it. Well, man, it's uh, kind of a good thing that I did get trail divorce because this roller coaster took me, you know, it's only 14 miles. Did have it yesterday, half today, but, you know, with Wildflower along, this would have been a three or four day experience and it would have been rough. So as much as I miss the girl, it, it is kind of easier without her. Sad to say, I do miss that girl. All right, well, we've taken enough of a break. Get back to it. Finally done with the roller coaster. Yay. All right, so now it's only another like 15 or so miles to town. I am definitely not making that before the sun goes down. It's been a rough day, man. I took another wrong turn, of course, but I went like a quarter mile, but it was a total boulder scramble before I figured out that there was no more trail in front of me. I thought it was really difficult for the AT, but it's throwing some shit at me, so... But it turns out they just marked the trees wrong. At the top of the hill, there's an overlook. 
And there's two blazes, one telling me to go right, so I went right. Turns out it was meant for the Sobos telling them to go left. But, you know, when I came to the top of the hill, that was the one in front of me. Again, you guys need to learn how to mark your shit. And it's not like I can break out the map and know. The map doesn't tell me left or right. It only tells me up and down and distance. So it's it's a guessing game. And, I, again, I guessed wrong. But at least I only went, like, you know, a quarter mile tops. Maybe not even a quarter mile. But it was, it was over some rough-ass terrain, so I didn't need to, to do that. Running out of energy, running low on food. I got to get somewhere soon. It's not like I can starve to death. I got a whole jar of peanut butter back there I can feast on. But who wants to eat just peanut butter? But, hell, you, know, you got to do what you got to do. This is what the trail looks like today. Yeah. And it's not too deep, but there is a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Dry socks? <laughs> no way. Oh, man. I don't know where I'm making it tonight. I am so beat. But unfortunately, I don't really have the food to spend another night here. I and mean, technically, I do. You want to consider peanut butter food. Which, it, yes, it is, but I don't have anything to put it on. I just be eating it out with a spoon. Not that, not that I haven't been doing that today. But, you know, to go all night on that and have part of tomorrow, don't want to do that. I am ready to get into some sort of town or a hostel or something. I'd break out my book, but there, you know, there's always water falling from the sky. And not that I don't mind getting the book wet, it just weighs so much more when it's wet. <sighs> Carry on. So I made it to a place called the Blackburn Trail Center. Very cool, awesomely placed, because I needed this. Uh, I was just looking to take a break, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here tonight. Really nice people here. They don't charge you or anything. They're gonna cook me dinner. They've already given me banana bread. I get to live in this little house tonight. I'm gonna go get some wood and start a little fire. They got a wood burning stove in there. Ah, oh, there's a medical kit in there. I'm gonna treat my blisters. You would not believe. I've got a two-inch blister on my foot. You know, like, oh, oh, you're lying. Two-inch blisters? Those don't happen. Oh. Ah. Look at the size of that thing. Starts here, ouch, ends here. Yeah, yeah, and I'm out of mole skin. I'm hoping there's some in there, but I doubt it. I think I'm just gonna be wearing a buttload of tape. I'm still like, I think 10 or 12 miles away from Harper's Ferry, which is the unofficial halfway point that I was supposed to be there by the 4th, and yeah, it didn't happen, didn't happen. I'm only a few days shy. I thought I'd make it there today, but no, I only did 10 miles today, and those 10 miles kicked my butt. Oh, so glad to be here. My hands were so wrinkly from being wet. I mean, they're still not back to normal yet. They're, they're still pretty gross, and I've been here like an hour now, that they started hurting. I've never been so wrinkly it became painful before. Oh, this place is freaking awesome. So, yeah, Blackburn ATC Center. ATC Center. Fucking awesome. Love this place already. So, I'm totally digging this place. Got my stuff drying out all over the place. I got a wood burning stove inside, so I made way too big of a fire. But I figured I'd rather have it hot, and all my stuff is just hanging up all over the place because I'm the only dude here. So, I figured I'd rather, you know, sleep hot and have dry stuff in the morning to be comfortable and lugging out as much stuff. I, I swear my pack weighed a good seven pounds heavier with all the water in there. When I pulled my tent out of its cases, because it's two pieces, like water came out with it, just crap tons, everything had water in it. Even, you know, I did my best, but it was pouring when I was, the storm is so bad that they were going to have this big hiker feast tonight, which I guess glad thing they didn't because it, it's just me. Um, I'd have done my best to finish it off, but what up? But uh, the people that were bringing the food up couldn't get in because some of the roads are closed down because, uh, you know, too much water. Damn. You know, I had a lot of nice days, so, you know, I can't complain. But I would rather it rained in the Shenandoahs where the walking is so easy. It might as well be a moving sidewalk that it waited for the roller coaster to dump on me. You know. But it was exciting. It was it was kind of fun. It, it was. Good challenge. Enjoyed it. Even though I'm in pain now, but, yeah. <laughs> That's part of this game, man. <laughs>